In Unity, we can create a custom inspector to control which data from our scripts is visible and how it is represented in the editor. The ability to extend the editor in this way gives us a lot of power and flexibility with our scripts and the resulting workflow. Let's say we had a leveling system where every time a character earned 750 experience points, they gained a new level. This is easy enough to calculate in the beginning, but it could be a bit cumbersome as characters get to higher levels. Luckily, we can create a custom inspector to make this much simpler. Here we have a script called Level Script. This script represents the experience based leveling system mentioned before. In the script, we first have a variable named experience, which will contain the total amount of experience a character has accumulated. Next, we have a property named level. We can see that this property takes the current experience value and returns the level equivalent. For more information on properties, see the lesson on properties linked below. In Unity, we have an empty game object with the level script attached. Notice how we can see the experience property in the inspector. It is easy to calculate the level when our experience is zero, but what if it was 49,865? Let's customize the inspector to show the level for us. In order to customize the inspector, we need to make a folder to place our editor scripts in. Unity requires that this folder is named Editor. Inside the editor folder, we will create a new script. This script will contain our custom inspector. It can have any name, but for the sake of this example, we will call it Level Script Editor. In the Level Script Editor, we can begin writing our custom inspector. Before we begin writing any editor specific code, we must first declare that we are using the Unity Editor namespace. For more information on namespaces, see the lesson on namespaces linked below. Next, we need to inherit from editor instead of mono behavior. This, in effect, is how we extend the editor. For more information on inheritance, see the lesson on inheritance linked below. From here, we need to give our custom inspector an attribute to tell it which script we are customizing. The syntax for doing this starts with an open square bracket followed by the keyword custom editor and parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we use the keyword type of to specify the type, and then we put the name of our script in another set of parentheses. We can see that in this example, the script we are customizing is the level script. We end the line with a close square bracket. Inside our level script editor class, we create the method public override void on inspector GUI. This is the method that is called every time the inspector is drawn inside Unity. For more information on what the override keyword is doing, see the lesson on overriding linked below. At this point, the inspector for the level script has been modified. If we go back into Unity, we can see that we no longer see any properties of the script in the inspector view. Since this is not very useful, let's continue writing our custom inspector. Back in the level script editor, we will want to create some fields for the inspector. We automatically have a reference to our level script object named target inside the onInspector GUI method. This isn't usable until we cast it into an appropriately typed variable, however. To do this, we will create a level script variable named myLevelScript and set it equal to the inherited variable target. Finally, we will cast the variable target as a level script variable by writing level script in parentheses next to it. We want our inspector to show two pieces of information, the amount of experience the character has and the current level of the character. We can create an integer field in the inspector using the Editor GUI Layout class. The syntax for this starts with the class name Editor GUI Layout, followed by a period, and then the method 
int field, followed by parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we specify the name of the field and the value of the field. In this case, we want the field to be named experience, and the value to be the value of the experience variable of our MyLevel script. Since we want this field to be able to write back to our experience variable, we set the entire line equal to myLevelScript.experience. We follow a similar process for the level field. This time, however, we will be using the label field method of the Editor GUI layout class. A label is a read only control, so we do not have to worry about the user attempting to manually adjust the level in the inspector. Inside the parentheses of the label field method, we pass in the name level and the value mylevelscript.level. Since a label control requires a string as a value, we will call the toString method of the level property to turn it into a string. At this point, our custom inspector is complete. We can go back into Unity to see the result. In the inspector, we can see that when our experience is 49,865, our level is 66. Furthermore, we can see that as we adjust the experience value, the inspector automatically tells us the level. By customizing the editor for our scripts, we can simplify and automate many of our otherwise cumbersome tasks.